time. Of course, still talking about Harvey getting a little stronger in the Gulf of Mexico. Forecast to become a hurricane by Friday, if not maybe a little bit later on in the day today. And landfall still expected on Texas by Friday night, but the heavier rain is going to be the big issue for much of Texas. Latest satellite still showing again and getting better organized out here in the western part of the Gulf of Mexico. Bigger thunderstorms continuing to develop here, and the winds have now increased to 60 miles per hour. We'll get another update at 10 a.m. with a new forecast tracker updated track with that one. Now turning more north northwest versus north, which is good news, and the pressure 986 millibars. The forecast model plots all kind of agree with that north northwest track into the central Texas coastline here, but then kind of meandering around. A few of them kind of working the way a little closer to the Rio Grande. Others by the end of the forecast period here by Wednesday, starting to take it on in toward Louisiana, but it's going to be a slow mover, so it's going to be a while till we get some of the rain actually coming from that. The official track shows landfall around 1 a.m. on Saturday, at least as a category one. I wouldn't be surprised if now we may see this a little stronger at landfall, close to a category two, and then going back and forth, still interacting with the Gulf waters on Monday and Tuesday of next week. So it'll stay a tropical system here because it's going to be feeding off the Gulf waters there, producing incredible flooding rains over much of Texas. Water vapor showing the good fanning out of the clouds is that usually what we see kind of exhaust if you overthink of a car, and that's showing a sign that storms starting to get a little stronger as well. And we'll eventually see clouds from it as we headed to the weekend. Hurricane warnings from Matagora Bay all the way farther to the south expected for Texas. And then tropical storm warnings up through the Houston and uh, Galveston Bay area as well too into Texas. Rain totals again still very impressive around 15 to 20 inches for much of the Texas coastal areas here all the way back down to Brownsville. Even Lake Charles could see around 15 inches of rain from this which would be the wettest year ever if they get any more rain from that. And then four to seven inches potentially across our area as we headed to next week. So our main impacts would be the heavy rain, high tides and surge. We could see storm tide levels rising around one to three feet up there for east facing shores. Not a true storm surge, if you will, but just higher tides coming on in and some water spouts and tornadoes possible, especially into next week. Right now we're looking at some cloudy skies out there. 82 degrees here on the south shore. It does feel like 90 mid 70s north of the lake and we will see some rain today courtesy of our front coming in. So grab your umbrella all afternoon into the evening hours. We'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms already. A few of those showers developing thunderstorm near the Port Sulphur area this morning as well. Here's the front. It's going to get to us and stall not only today, but tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So the bulk of our rain for the weekend will actually be from the front. We will have the moisture coming up there from Harvey, but you can see here again as the front comes on in, sparking off showers and storms this afternoon when you go pick up the kids. We'll still see some cloud cover and some of the bands from Harvey working the way closer to us as we head on into Friday morning, on into Friday afternoon, into the evening hours, but the bulk of the rain kind of staying offshore. A few bands to get closer to us during the day on Saturday as Harvey moves inland. So with that in mind, looking at our chance for rain today, right around 50%, 30% tomorrow, 60% for the weekend. And then next week, depending on exactly where Harvey goes, we could have some heavy rain for at least the first part of the week. Andrew? Well,